So can you guys wear the Mercurial Superfly 5 without any laces? So can you wear the Hypervenom 3s without any laces on them? What's up guys, Matt from footballboots.co.uk and today we've taken out the laces from our football boots. We've got some mid-cut dynamic fit collar boots and also some low-cut football boots. So we're going to see how they fit, feel and perform in a full test. So something that doesn't actually affect performance, but is very nice about not having laces in the Superfly 5, is that it's so much easier to put on. Obviously I've just done it like that, just slipping my foot on. For anyone who does have the Superfly boots, then you know how much of a pain it is to really make them loose first before slipping your boot in because they feel so, so tight across that midfoot portion. So here with the laceless Hypervenom 3s, and to be honest, when there's laces in these, I really, really struggle to get them on, but laceless, so much easier. It really does make it easier to get them on. So similar just to like the Superfly 5, the Vapor 11s slide straight on, but the problem is obviously just like on the Opus 2, it has a hybrid tongue, so it's attached to the upper across three quarters of the boot, but then it becomes a loose flat at the top. So as I said, if you want to be like Danny Alves and only wear laces at the top two portions, then definitely do that. Because to be fair, if you do have wide feet, then it's going to be a little bit more forgiving in that midfoot portion. So as you can see, the Superfly 5 really does slide on pretty easy to be fair. But how does that differ with the Mercurial Veloz 3? Obviously, it's one of the scaled down models in the Mercurial range, but still has a dynamic fit collar. It's still very, very easy to put on. It feels slightly different. Obviously, the Superfly 5 is very premium and has that flying it material across the entire boot. So it really does feel like a sock. The difference between that and the Veloz 3 is that it has a dynamic flying it material across that kind of laces region and a dynamic fit collar. So it doesn't feel like a sock across the entire boot. It's almost a little bit of spacing because it doesn't have those laces and isn't compressive across the entire boot. It feels like there's a little bit of rollover, especially in the instep of the boot. So something's going to be quite interesting is I've got the Superfly 5 with its dynamic fit collar on my left foot. So that's going to have a better fit compared to the Vapor 11, which is my striking foot. So when I actually go to strike the ball, it'll be very interesting to see how the Vapor 11 actually feels. And to be fair, if I strike with power, the boot actually might come off because there's nothing actually holding it down. So we'll have a go. So we stayed on my foot, which is a big positive to start out with. I feel like the Superfly 5 just feels a little bit nicer because it doesn't have laces. It literally feels like a sock because it's made of that flying it material, which is brilliant. The Vapor 11, because it is that ties in synthetic, I feel like it doesn't actually need the laces, especially across that portion. So overall, it's really down to you. I feel like this is actually very much more comfortable compared to having it with laces. But obviously, like I've said before, the lockdown comes from the laces and the lockdown adds responsiveness. Okay, so you may be wondering if you can feel if there's laces in them or not. Well, I don't think you can. While I'm doing these keepy uppies, it's no different to if there were laces in there for me. So just gonna do some keepy uppies with the Mercurial boots. And to be fair, as expected, you can't really tell the difference between if they have laces and without. If somebody blindfolded me and said, are these laces or not? I couldn't really tell you. The one thing that I can feel slightly is that the Vapor 11 doesn't feel very tight across that very highest portion. But to be fair, doing keepy uppies, they just feel normal. The biggest difference is when you stop the ball and then you go and make those quick movements, then you really can start to tell. Your Superfly 5 does feel comfortable, but it doesn't feel like you're very strapped in, which is obviously what the biggest Superfly positive is. The Vapor 11, you probably can't play in this, to be fair. I'd feel like the boot is almost slipping off. You get a little bit of heel slippers because there's nothing tying it down. And obviously that's very loose as well. So I can't feel the difference with or without laces when I'm just moving around, walking around. But as soon as I try and accelerate and take some quick sharp movements, then you do feel that it's not quite as locked down as it would be if you had laces in there. So is there any difference between how the two Mercurial boots actually feel on feet when we're standing up and making a couple of movements? 
Well, very similar to when we first slid them on, and I said that the Veloz 3 felt a little bit spacey because there's no laces pulling that up and together. And that's exactly the same case when we're actually making some kind of movements. To be fair, the Superfly 5 does feel like a sock, so it's quite compressive because of the flying in material. But the Veloz 3, I'd definitely say that it does need its laces just to pull that synthetic upper across to promote a very snug fit, which the material range is very known for. Right, so guys, at the moment, on my right foot, I've got the Magista Obra 2, and of course, it has a dynamic fit collar, so it's mid-cut. And on my left foot, I've got the Magista Opus 2, so low-cut. For me personally, I would not wear the Opus 2 without laces. It just feels a little bit too loose, especially around the ankle part where those two top laces are supposed to be. You can just flat that top of the tongue part out because it's only a hybrid tongue. So it's attached at the halfway and then becomes detached after that. So you can't actually wear these for your football. I definitely wouldn't suggest doing that. But saying that with the Magista Obra 2, it actually feels very comfortable. It's actually more comfortable without laces than with, but the one thing you do lose is lockdown. Because those laces do work with those flywire cables, it makes the boot feel very locked down, and of course that affects responsiveness. So if it was for me, Magista Opus 2 does need laces, but if you want a little bit more comfort, then the Obra 2 would be brilliant without. Okay, so so far we've spoken about how the Magista boots just feel when we're standing and running around. But how do they feel when they're actually striking the ball and planting the foot? Well, to be fair, you don't get much slippage in the Obra 2. There is a slight little bit across that top portion of the foot because the laces aren't locking it down. Now, with the Opus 2 on my left foot, the planting foot, you definitely do get some movement, especially around this top portion here. You can just see where that tongue's starting to come away. You can really flex the foot. If I flex like this, you can start to see actually inside the boot itself. And that's why it does need the laces. Obviously, Danny Elvis wears the Vapor 11, and he just has his laces at the top two portion. So if you don't want to wear laces the whole way, you can just wear them in the two top portion ones. So we're just going to do some keepy uppies with the unlaced boots on feet. And to be fair, you can't really tell that he don't actually have laces. Just when you're doing keepy uppies and walking around, they just feel like a normal pair of boots with laces. It's not until you actually start making different kind of movements, then you can feel they feel slightly looser than if they did have laces. And that's obviously a problem, especially if you do play with a lot of pace and agility, then you are gonna want that lockdown which laces offer. So you don't need laces in the Hyper Venom 3s, but then what's the point of the exposed flywire? As Tom was saying, you don't need to wear laces with the High Venom 3, but of course it does mean that these are neglected, these flywire cables, which really do a great job of adding a little bit of responsiveness. One other point to mention is that if you don't actually wear laces with them, then the external loopholes can actually go within the boot, and this is extremely difficult to get back out. So for me personally, I would actually keep my laces within the High Venom 3, but saying that they are comfortable. So can you guys wear the Mercurial Superfly 5 without any laces? So can you wear the Hyper Venom 3s without any laces in them? I say why not? So guys, can you wear your football boots without laces? Well what it really comes down to, if you have low cut boots like the Vapor 11 or Opus 2, you can't wear them because the fit isn't good enough and your foot is going to move around inside the boot. But if you're wearing dynamic fit quality boots like the High Venom 3, the Obra 2, the Superfly 5 or even the Veloz 3, then you can wear them without laces. Saying that, it's up to you. I think they're a little bit more comfortable, but the performance side of things are decreased slightly. What do you think? I think if the comfort outweighs the performance for you, then go ahead, but otherwise the performance in my books at least wins. Okay guys, so there it is. Can you wear your laces with or without? Let us know your own comments in the section below. Thanks for watching. Cheers.